today we gonna see about the message authentication so uh, up till uh, now we have uh, been concerned with the protecting a message content that is a secrecy by encryption the message we'll now consider how to protect the message integrity that is the protection from a modification as well as confirming the identity of the sender so generally this is the problem of a message authentication and in e-commerce applications it's a uh, arguably uh, more important than secrecy so message authentication is a concern with protecting the integrity of message validating the identity of a originator and non repudiation of a origin so there are three types of functions that may be used to produce an authenticator message encryption message authentication code or hash function a uh, threat that exists of a data is the lack of message authentication so in this threat the user is not sure about the uh, originator of the message message authentication can be provided using the cryptographic technique that uses a secret key as done in a case of encryption uh, the next is uh, message authentication code so my algorithm is a symmetric cryptographic technique to provide a message authentication for establishing a mac process the sender and the receiver share a symmetric key k essentially a mac is an encrypted checksum uh, generated on the underlying message that is sent along with the message to ensure the message authentication and the last one is the hash function then security requirements in the context of a communication across a network the attack uh, attacks listed up uh, listed uh, like can be identified the first uh, requirements first two requirements belong in the uh, realm of uh, message confidentiality and are handled using the encryption techniques which are already discussed in a previous sessions the remaining requirements belong in the realm of messages authentication at its core the address is the issue of ensuring that the message come from the alleged source and has not been altered so it may also address sequencing uh, uh, and the time lineage the use of digital signature can also address the issues of repudiations by the sources next is the message encryption message encryption by itself can provide a measure of authentication here the cipher text of the entire message uh, serves as its uh, authenticator on the basis uh, that only those who know the appropriate keys could have validly encrypted the message and this is provided you um, can uh, this is provided so you can recognize a valid message that is if the message has suitable structure such as a redundancy or checksum to detect any changes then with the public key technique can get a digital signature which can only have been created by a key owner but at the cost of two public keys operation at the each on the message so if a public encryption is a use since anyone potentially knows the public key so however if a sender however if sender signs a message using their private key then encrypts with the recipient's public key and how both the secrecy and the authentication and again need to recognize the corrupted message so this is all about the message authentication thank you